Lawmakers will now be making their way to the new parliament building. The Indian Prime Minister addressed all the lawmakers, bidding farewell to the old parliament house and asked everyone to refer to the old parliament house and the building as Samvidhan Sadan from now, marking respect and giving respect to all those who have sat here in the past and written India's history. But now it's time for India's next phase. And there we see glimpses of the Indian Prime Minister leading all the lawmakers towards the new parliament building as they line up and move forward. You see India's Defence Minister walking towards the Prime Minister's right, India's Home Minister walking to his left. All ministry leaders following the Indian Prime Minister. Definitely a historical moment for India as they now commence the next phase. It is symbolic in several ways and this is definitely in line with the Amrit Kal. 25 years of India leading towards becoming a developed nation and they want to write all that history right here in the new parliament building. This is of course part of the special parliamentary session which is going on. The five-day parliamentary session which started yesterday. Today is day two. Several points will be raised here. Several bills will be raised here. The Women's Reservation Bill has already been cleared reportedly and is expected to be a point of discussion today. There we have glimpses of all the leaders moving towards the new parliament building. Now we have a different shot from a little distance here. They're all carrying a copy of the Indian Constitution in their hands as they walk towards the new building. Security personnel, of course, guarding all the leaders as they march towards the new parliament building now. The flag was hoisted at the new parliament building just recently, a few days ago. And, of course, it is all set. The new parliament building was, was revealed in May earlier this year. But now, today will be the first time that all the lawmakers will now, they will be They will now be congregating there in the new parliament building today for the first time and that is where the session will happen. They bid farewell to Samvidhan Sadan, the constitution chamber, the constitution house, where of course India's history has been written for the past 75 years. The Indian Prime Minister weighed in on everything that India has achieved in the last several decades starting right since independence to today, 2023. Today, on the occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi, an auspicious day, all lawmakers are now going to shift to the new parliament building, where India writes its history for the next uh, years to come and decades to come. The Indian Prime Minister urged all other lawmakers to ensure that now, even though they are shifting to the new parliament house, the new parliament building, they remain respectful for the old parliament building and all those who sat there. Definitely very, very nostalgic for all those who have been to the old parliament building, which includes journalists, it includes so many ministers, so many earlier leaders in India to see this change happen right in front of them. The iconic parliament house, the parliament building, of course, now will be known as the old parliament building or the Samvidhan Sadhan, as the prime minister requested. That's the security convoy of uh, the leaders following them as they move towards the new parliament building. They are walking right there. This is day two of the special parliamentary session. Just to remind all our viewers that India has only had eight special parliamentary sessions in its independent history. This is the ninth. The agenda for this special parliamentary session is still slightly under wraps. There has been a lot of speculation regarding why this special parliamentary session has been called. It was announced last month and it sent, ta uh, it sent tongues a wagging all over people have been trying to assess trying to guess what exactly the special parliamentary session has been announced for but definitely the government has unveiled and has 
will be taking the first session today in the new parliament building. That's exactly what we're seeing. Of course, right now we're still cutting across to these visuals of uh, leaders moving towards the new parliament building. That's exactly all we're getting in and the security convoy which follows. There are a lot of pointers on the agenda. People are expecting the UCC to be discussed. There is a lot of discussion regarding the one nation, one election to be up for discussion, a committee for which has already been established. It has already been set. But the listing which was gone, which was sent from the government, it mentioned that this is a non-exhaustive list, which means that all the pointers that are enlisted that is not an exhaustive list. There will be more things that will be up for discussion and it will all happen in the next few days. The parliament session is expected to last till Friday. Members of parliament walking towards the new parliament building. It was inaugurated in May, but of course the first parliamentary session will happen here today. Security officials surrounding all the Indian leaders, Indian Prime Minister leading the pact, of course, on his right, India's Defence Minister, on his left, India's Home Minister, all other members of Parliament following as he leads the pact to the new building. So these are live visuals coming in from New Delhi. It is definitely a historic moment as we see the new parliament building being. It will host the first parliamentary session in the new building. That's something that we will be seeing for the first time today till now. It was always done in Parliament House. Just repeating for our viewers what Prime Minister Modi mentioned in his speech a little earlier this morning. He requested everyone to ensure that now that they will be shifting to the new parliament house to ensure that all respects are paid to the old parliament house. Now